Hey there guys, Class Grimmer here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we beat Whitney and got the Flame Badge. Today, we're gonna go do a little bit of mopping up around the roots in the area. Because, uh, if you recall, I was terrified of fighting your really any of these trainers, and did my best to avoid all of them. Now, we're much higher level. Um, it shouldn't be an issue to beat most of these uh, trainers, and I could use the money. And they'll still give me good experience. It's not to say that it's entirely impossible or unlikely for me to get incredibly unlucky and have enemy trainers just have a uh, way more powerful Pokemon than I can really deal with. But if they're all gonna have like oddishes like Todd here, I really don't need to worry. Um no. <laughs> Whatever. And I still don't want to get into a random a wild Pokemon battle on this route because I've already encountered and caught Pokemon I could here, and I haven't forgotten that Garchomp's live here. No, thank you. Do not want to deal with a Garchomp. Um, what is it? Valor I talk? Yeah! Okay, you know what? This will work. I don't have a very good way of dealing with rock types general, like I don't have a water or a grass type move to use on, but I have fighting, and that will still at least be super effective, even if it's coming from a normal type who doesn't get the stab. Also, close combat's just crazy powerful. 120 base power? Yeah. Even with the increased defense, that nose pass did not stand a chance. No, spoiling. Okay, that's, like, maybe the least impressive Pokémon they could be putting out? Uh, yeah, sure. Seffy. We can just bite him, uh, to death. Yeah, you, uh, you don't stand a chance here. And then after mopping up on this route, we're gonna go, uh, back to the north? I think there may actually be a thing I need to do in uh, Goldenrod City, because I know upcoming in the normal game would be an encounter with a pseudo Wudo. Here I want to say it should be swapped out for almost anything else, but I'm still going to need the squirt bottle to uh, begin the encounter. Also, depending on... Um, if I've already caught a Pokemon for that region, I may or may not be able to get a new Pokemon from it. Hmm. Um. I do and don't want to get all these people's phone numbers because all that really happens from having them is that I'll get calls pretty occasionally, and they'll just be annoying. Thankfully, you don't have to actually answer any of them, but I forget which trainers are really worth having their numbers for. Whatever, I'll just take this kid's number. Who cares? I'm almost never going to uh, get around to doing refights with any of these people, because I don't have a reason to. Let's check Connie. Oh, I was hoping that she would have picked up something by now. Not doing your job, Connie. You have pickup for a reason. And that's because I don't really have anything else to ever do. I mean, she's a pineco for crying out loud. What is she supposed to do? Um You have soundproof, don't you? Yeah. This is a very sound-based Pokémon, so this works. I'll throw my soundproof dragon out here who needs to get more powerful anyway. Because, uh, yeah, Bagon's not especially stunning. But, um, 
Salamence that it will eventually become after going through a Shellcon stage should be really good. Oh. Okay. Um. I guess we're gonna have a starter battle? I probably should have put Connie out here. One of the few times where she would have been useful. No, and it's a Brandon. It's very close to the male trainer name for uh, the Hoenn region, isn't it? Is this that kid Brendan or Brandon? Brendon? I don't know. It's really similar. I think it's Brendan with a, another E at the end of it. Well, good for you. This is not where I would want to train. Whoa. Whoa! Oh. At first I was like, wow! Four whole Pokémon! Whoa! A Rotom! It's level 7. Never mind. Not very impressive. Ooh. Oh. Huh. Okay then. I guess if you've become bug type and you're not immune to normal type moves anymore, I'll take advantage of that. Like, the coolest thing about Rotom is its typing and the ability to go into other objects to change its typing. If it's got, like, Kecleon's ability, that's not actually that impressive. It's like, oh! Never mind what I was about to say. Um, great. Now I need a way to deal with the Mewtwo. Um. Who has a good special defense stat? Cindy does! And not really anything else going for her. Whereas Sarah has a slightly worse special defense, way more HP, way more attack. It should be a way lower level Mewtwo, like maybe 10 at the most, so I think this will be okay. Wow, I didn't expect to hit that on the head. Um, great. Speaking of heads, let's use ours. And the great big horn on it. Awesome, awesome! Not only did we kill it in one hit, that hit happened to be a critical. Okay. Still bug, right? Bug ground? I'll throw Nana in on this one. No, actually, this became a dragon at some point, didn't it? I forget. Oh no, by Brava. No! I'm trying to remember the whole uh, Flygon line now, because it's Trap Inch by Brava. Flygon. Whatever. I'm still gonna use Gust. It should work just fine. If it's not super effective, it's. yeah, it's still a ton of damage. And you have. oh, okay, cool, great. You just set yourself up for failure. Change your type to. Flying so that you're weak to electricity and you lower my accuracy, encouraging me to use the never miss move. Yeah, you're done. Stupid, stupid Pokemon. Oh, right, I forgot there's still one more. It's such a long battle when you actually encounter trainers with more than like one or two Pokemon on them. kind of forget, like, oh, right, these things can take a while. Not that I've forgotten how long it took to do the grinding just to be the strong, but, yeah. It looks like this route may not have actually been that dangerous. It could have been. It is on the wild, the, uh... What lies in the grass is actually quite dangerous, but everything else wasn't that big a deal. 
and now we're going to risk it. Um, okay, no item. Throw Sarah up front, just in case one of those guard chomps do jump out at me. Oh wow, here's a free false swipe. Good thing I didn't buy one. Wait, did I buy one? Oh no. Do I have two false swipe teams now? Nope, good. I didn't buy one back in the department store. And it looks like that was a good choice. Because the game's just like, oh, whatever, it's like one of the most valuable moves if you are trying to actually catch Pokemon. You can just have it for free. Or who can learn it? I have to look into that. Let's see. That's not how you go about doing that. I'm so used to just like going to the Pokemon menu to do healing and stuff because of other Pokemon games. Okay, wow. Everybody can learn it. And Valor's the only one at level 18 now. Neat. Let's switch that up. And for now, I'm not going to worry about it. I probably should, but I'm not going to. Because I haven't decided who I would want to give false swipe to. Most likely Valor. Even though that feels like a waste, but it at least be the right typing. Well, good for you. Um, let's go here to the flower shop and see if I can get the key item now. Yep. Yes, I did beat Whitney. It was actually not very difficult at all. And she gives a squirt bottle. Cool. And that tree, she says, on Route 36, which I have not encountered a Pokemon on. So that's really good. We can actually go to Route 36, fight whatever is replacing a Sudabudo, and try to get um, a new Pokemon. If we have the balls. We have some balls. Could be more ballsy, but I think we'll be okay. You know, one of these days I really hope Connie just blows me out of the water and uh, uses a pickup ability to get like a master ball. Oh, wow, cool. I have an infinite supply of master balls if I want to put in the effort to walking around everywhere to try and get them. That would be amazing. We'll see if that's actually uh, the way the randomizer worked out, though. Maybe someday ever. I don't know if there's a way to surface and get spoilers. At least at this point. There probably was when I originally rolled up the seed. Alright, I'm just occasionally looking at the Pokemon menu to see if Connie's uh, picked anything up. So, normally this guy's full of psychic types. Today, Mark. Oh no! Why? No, that's the worst thing you could have. Um, oh crap. Crap, crap, and double damn. Um, hmm. I could throw in Nana, but if he uses a rock move, that's gonna be super effective to me. I would be immune to ground and immune to explosion, self-destruct, whatever. But I'm going to be weak to like everything else he does. You know what? Do it. Kill it. Try and kill it in one shot before he has a chance to do anything else. Yeah! Worth it. Completely worth it. And now he sends in a water type. Good. Not nearly as terrifying as a ticking time bomb. Because, uh, 
as far as Nuzlocke's go, anything that uh, potentially knows self-destruct and or explosion and metronome are all equally the most terrifying opponents to me. Um, yeah, if you watch the 13.5 video where I just showed all the grinding I did to get uh, ready for Whitney's Gym, you would notice that I spent a very long time fighting Togemis, and whenever they came up, I immediately put Nana out. Because she is immune to explosions. I was terrified of that being an option. And Togemi is, you know, one of the main Pokemon lines that's like, oh yeah, they know Metronome. That's one thing they are famous for. The whole Togepi line, the fairy line. Um, I think you could learn it, because you can learn, like, any move. There really aren't that many others that can use Metronome. I can't remember if Chansey can, but I wouldn't uh, take them lightly, at least say that much. Well, Valor didn't uh, get enough experience to get any kind of level up, but Sarah's really pulling her weight here. I think this guy's another one I get the phone number of. I want to say it's one of the ones that's actually good to get the number for. <laughs> because normally it's like a Vulpix, and would later get uh, Fire Stones that you could just come back to him for occasionally. At least, I, in my memory, that's what it is. I'd have to look it up to know for certain, but... In any case, Having a way to get fire stones is actually really good because you can't just buy them anymore for some stupid reason. Um, no, I don't think I care about fairy swipes. Yeah, that's that's probably not sticking around. I'd rather have full swipe than fairy swipes. Even though False Swipe cannot kill, that's okay. And it's only like as strong as Tackle, that's still okay. This graphical glitch is not okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I was right. Phone number. Cool. Well, at least it's been about 19 minutes, so uh, I guess now it's as good as time as any to call it. I think we're very close to pseudo widow. Yeah, I think that's actually supposed to be it there. <laughs> Anyhow, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke, uh, hopefully the graphics won't be breaking on us, and we'll get to try out the pseudo widow uh, replacement, and maybe even catch them. Until next time, you guys have a good day.